Hello students. Today uh, we will see construction and working of Van de Graaff generator. In uh, previous video we saw uh, principle of Van de Graaff generator. Today uh, we will see how to construct Van de Graaff generator and how it works. To understand today's topic, we need to be knowing uh, principle of Van de Graaff generator, which says that if you have two concentric uh, shells of different radii, one is say having radius small r, other one is uh, having radius capital R, and if you consider two points on uh, uh, the shells, one on inner shell, one on outer shell, then the potential difference between outer and inner shell. Uh, is kq upon 1 by radius of uh, smaller shell minus 1 by radius of uh, bigger shell uh, which in turn says that uh, vb will always be greater than va and uh, hence if you deposit charge on inner shell and uh, if there is contact between inner and outer shell charges will automatically flow from inner shell to outer shell because charges uh, flow from higher potential to lower potential. With small amount of charge deposited on inner shell, the potential of inner shell will increase. And if potential is more than outer shell, then automatically charges on inner shell will be passed to outer shell. So with the principle of Van de Graaff generator clear, let us see working of Van de Graaff generator. So uh, here is a schematic diagram of Van de Graaff generator. Uh, the outer shell and uh, then we have inner shell and pulley uh, on lower side we have one more pulley which uh, can be rotated and the two pulleys are connected by conveyor belt which is non-conducting so on the lower side we have brush uh, which uh, when rubbed with the belt we have charges produced on the conveyor belt non-conducting belt and uh, then you have uh, conducting brush between the outer shell and inner shell uh, which is actually in contact with the belt so through the uh, brush one charges will pass from belt to outer shell so what happens when you start moving the pulleys uh, there is friction at brush two and uh, because of that charges produced on the belt and as soon as the charges uh, reach here uh, the conducting belt non sorry non conducting belt uh, is gathering charge and uh, the brush one will pass it to the outer shell that is how outer shell is continuously being charged charge is being transferred to outer shell as we rotate pulley and gradually uh, outer shell gathers large amount of charge and uh, so uh, every time we are depositing charge on inner shell through the pulley and then what happens because of the uh, friction at brush 2 charges are produced on the belt belt is transferring it to uh, pulley 1 or smaller shell and then through brush 1 we can transfer the charge to outer shell and uh, gradually outer shell, outer shell will have large amount of charge and that is how it can produce large electric field and what is the purpose of the electric field to accelerate charged particle so that is one de Graaff generator so in conclusion we can say that one de Graaff generator uh, is a particle accelerator it is very basic particle accelerator uh, which can produce a large amount of electric field and electric field can be used to accelerate charged particle because f is equal to qe so larger electric field will produce a great force on the charged particle and then particle will move with large acceleration a van de graaff generator works on principle uh, that charges flow from higher higher potential to lower potential and uh, there are two concentric shells in uh, Van de Graaff generator and the potential difference uh, between these two shells can be given by uh, this expression VB minus VA is equal to KQ bracket 1 by radius of smaller shell minus 1 by radius of uh, bigger shell. Uh, B is a point 
on inner shell a is point on outer shell so that is uh, all about construction and working of 1d graph generator thank you